Good evening ladies and slugs. Tonight we will discuss the projects, project space, and some of the tools that I am somewhat competent in using. I still have 10 fingers, so we always have that. I'd like to begin the night with discussing this custom made from your neighbor's trash and filled with all sorts of trash rack. This rack was inspired slightly by the Home Depot racks you guys see, you know, where they hold all the boards. Um, basically it's like this. I try to get as much material as I possibly can from dumpsters during work or from pieces of pallet wood or scrap or all sorts of things that I happen to find. Um, so with that said, this being my main source of you know, let's say material. That's a good that's the word I'm looking for. So since this is my main source of my material, it comes in drips and drabs. So it behooves me, let's say, to make a place to store it all. So this way, when I am ready to start a project, or when I complete a project and I have some leftover materials, it's a good place to store it. Um, I have all sorts of 2x4s, 4x4s, pressure treated, not pressure treated, cedar, mahogany, pallet wood, uh, planking, azac, all sorts of stuff, plastic, foam, uh, I got some wainscoting in there from a project I did in the house, and that's about it. So what you see is what you get, it's, you know, it's about 52 inches tall. It is, I believe, about 32 inches wide. There are three shelves centralized. And it is on six wheels that I bought from Harbor Freight. Not the top quality wheels, mind you, but the lower grade. It does roll, and it is mobile. Because that, when you're working in a limited workspace, is pretty mandatory. All right. Let's start with the primary workspace, which is a four and eh, maybe like 40 inch wide, three foot wide table by about eight feet long. It does have a shelf on the bottom where you see painting goods, masonry for tile, hammers, you know, some of those chipping hammers, drop cloths, and down there that's just kind of some random hardware door stuff, CO2 detectors. I was fortunate enough to come into this bench vise for free and unfortunately all those large pipe clamps you see in the back those were not free. Um, I have done one project actually a couple small projects with those but I am gearing up to start maybe doing something a little more with those. You see there's plenty of room to work on the top aside from my trash. A couple of simple hand tools here. Now in this cabinet here, aside from the magnets, which I don't know if you guys happen to see, let's swing back down to this, those blocks of wood, there was a really cool hack that I saw on YouTube, fancy that, that basically you just glue a couple magnets in blocks of wood. And now you have a no mar surface that you can clamp things in. And here we have all sorts of random goods. Alright, in cabinet number one we have all sorts of little doodads, pipe dope, glue, containers, staplers, screwdrivers. Screwdrivers are going to be a little hard to see, but I assure you they're in there. Chalk, wood glue, plumber's putty, goof off. I mean, you guys can read labels too, so I'm not going to say everything, but this is kind of my parts and pieces, let's say. Um, you know, some sprinkler heads in there, some of the valves, uh, a couple of the random little tidbits. Um, having that in your workspace is just a hassle, so I highly recommend at least a cabinet or two. Um, I'm even going as far to say one of those nice tall 8 foot longs is probably not a bad idea to get. 
if you could get it for cheap and or free, i.e. the garbage. Alright, not too much in here, but as you can see, plenty of duct tape, silver tape, some wire. Um, up there, hand painted myself. I'm a bit of an artist, but I need to pay the bills, so I do a little bit more than just painting plastic skulls. Um, this is just filled with some chain, a bunch of fasteners. This is all screws, nails, all sorts of things. We have ram set, bullets, I guess you would say. Assorted staples, textbooks for work, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in here, I have some empty brass. And again, you know, it's mostly fasteners in here because staying organized saves time. If you know what you need and you know where it is, you don't have to search, and that is critical for any project. Having spares at the ready, screws, nails, what have you, you never know when you guys need this, especially if you're homeowners, so I highly recommend you have everything you need at a quick grab. Alright, I'll take you through a quick couple draws. As you can see, just odds and ends. I mean, everyone's got a draw filled with things. Again, some Harbor Freight organizers. I think they were like five bucks for the three. Well worth it. Um, I can't stand drawers that are just filled with utter nonsense and you're always digging for what you're looking for. You know, when you guys are just out there doing things, just like me, it's nice to be able to find what you need to do the thing. Alright, let's go on down to the next drawer here. So this one I try to keep, you know, larger tools. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's see, stapler, and nice files, hammer, stapler. You know, I mean, just basic tools. Squares, measures, anything for straightening devices, let's say. You know, if you're going to take the time to do the project, make sure you take the time to do the project straight. This is, this is mostly uh, my camping stuff, so I don't really need to focus on that. And again, some boo-boo kits, uh, caulk, caulk gun, and a bunch of other, other random things that, you know, hopefully we don't always need. More specifically, we don't always need band-aids, though it does happen. Grease gun and a couple other minor rods and ends. Even though I have been looking for that barbecue scrubber, and now I know where it is. Electrical. Wire nuts, cords, wires, plugs, outlets, all sorts. Drill bits, tips, drill bits, extensions. Wrenches. A couple sockets in here too. More sockets. and some power hand tools and air compressor tools. Alright, this small box. Up here, basically it's just a bunch of bungee cords, tie down, stuff like that. Then we have random small tools. That is a super organized way, but there's not a lot of stuff in here. Clearly, a lot of it is just like Harbor Freight stuff that one day I might need it. And when I need it, I have it. So it's that simple. A couple of uh, gun tools in here for, you know, cleaning things and whatnot. This is random, random crap. Alright, here's some more random stuff. But these little cases you can buy at Home Depot, Harbor Freight. And I will say they are very very convenient for any homeowner or DIYer. Um, I'll just pull a couple of these back without getting crazy. Yeah, you know, nuts, bolts, screws. I got somewhere in here, I know there's a couple of Molly kits. Plumbing. Garden stuff, wax seals, you know, I mean, you never know. So, 
basically how I build this up. I'm not saying go out and buy all this stuff all in one shot. That's nonsense. What I recommend is whenever you're doing a project, buy an extra two of whatever fitting you need and then stick it in a drawer so this way next time when you need it or maybe you thought you needed X but you really needed Y as a quantity, you have it. This is some work related stuff that, you know, it's just kind of there. Uh, torch apparatuses, stuff like that. And at the very bottom there, there's a bunch of empty cases for all sorts of things. Now, we'll come over here. So I will back up and give you kind of the zoom shot. Alright, so on this shelf here, a lot of this stuff is really just camping gear, but I will focus in on the good stuff that kind of fits into this video a little better. So in this one crate, this is kind of a big crate, which is why it's not on the bottom. This is all sanding stuff, you know? Uh, it's really like spackling, painting, stuff like that. Empty bucket, chop saw, Ryobi, table saw, DeWolf. So as you guys know, in the channel we do a lot of gardening, some aquaponics stuff. And we are definitely going to be doing some projects, so I just want to take a couple seconds to show you the garden cart. This cart was so generously donated by a random stranger who decided to throw it out to the curb and wrote free on it. These carts are pretty expensive. I took it. I will always stop and take your garbage because that is my treasure. Um, the car mats on there, that's actually something else I pulled out of the garbage, and they're selling on Facebook for a hundred bucks right now, so, cha-ching! Got some neem oil on there, you know, a couple random small pots and things like that, some, you know, plant snips, I guess you could call them, work gloves, fertilizers, some potting mix, and, you know, other, uh, some drip irrigation stuff, that's actually what's in here, too is a part of the quarter inch drip irrigation uh, some fittings, stuff like that that I have uh, you know, nothing crazy, I bought these actually for camping, they're terrible for camping but they're great for small little bits and bobs wow I think I've been watching uh, <laughs> Rob's aquaponics too long and that is it so the bulk of the workspace guys is right here